Good news, the bottles are sold. I choose DHL to send the parcel to Japan. I park on a double yellow line, turn on the warning lights and sprint to the DHL service point at WH Smith. The label is wrong, says the assistant. How can it be wrong, say I? I leave WH Smith with the parcel. The town traffic warden is writing out a ticket. I get in the car, turn off the warning lights and start the engine. Except the engine won't start. Now I know the battery's on its last legs and I've already arranged to have a new one fitted in a couple of days. I've been keeping the patient alive with top-ups from my electrical charger. So far, so good. Until now. Must have been the warning lights. Time for some strategic thinking. I have the charger in the car, but I need power and an extension cable, and that's at home. I know my wonderful neighbour Frank will come out with some jump leads, so I give him a call. Instead of Frank, I'm greeted with his answer phone. I leave a message. Nothing for it, I'll have to buy an extension cable. I leave the car on the double yellow and head to the electrical shop, which is closed. No, I'm not making this up. The only other source is the builder's merchant at the bottom end of town. I leg it. They have one, £24 plus VAT. Back at the car, I go into the clothing shop directly opposite and ask one of the two rather elderly assistants if I can plug the cable into a socket. Oh, the owner's not here, says the first. She's very particular, says the second. I'll have to call her, says the first. She's very particular, says the second. Insists we don't waste electricity. I can think of nothing to say and walk out. I go to the shop next door. What a difference. Friendly, helpful, and I'm soon connecting the charger to the battery. The battery's not having it. The damn thing won't charge, and the traffic warden is back. Uh, if I had known you were broken down, I wouldn't have issued the ticket. You should have said. But I didn't know. I hear the words pouring out of my idiot mouth and give myself a mental kick where it hurts. Is it me or do I detect a smirk of satisfaction on the warden's face as he walks away? That'll be £45 plus VAT for the call-out fee, says the lady from the local garage. As soon as I've taken payment, I'll have someone out to you. If I could have the long number on the card, please. I pay. Two minutes later, Frank calls, ready to come to the rescue with his jump leads. So far, the afternoon has cost me £113, or £148 if I don't pay the fine promptly. I follow the breakdown truck back to the garage and have a new battery fitted. One thing left to do. Drive to Delibol, which I should have done in the first place. Because of where I am, it's no longer 14 miles away, it's 20. I pull up outside the small spa supermarket in Delibol and take my parcel inside. Is this a return? asks the assistant. No, it's... Are you dropping it off for someone to collect? No, I'm sending it. Ah, well, just hold the parcel up and I'll scan it. That's odd. It uh, won't scan. But it must, it's prepaid. I'm sending it to Japan. Oh, it's international, that's different. There, all gone through. Would you like a receipt? Back home, I reach for the whiskey. There is a parcel postscript to this Tuesday story. The next day and days following, DHL tracking only refers to the parcel being picked up in Delibol.
There's no further update and my customer in Japan receives no delivery notice. And now it's Christmas and the world is closed. I spend hours trying to raise anyone at DHL. Eventually, one of my emails is answered. I quote, Good morning, Richard. Richard spelt wrong. Thank you for contacting DHL Parcel UK regarding shipment 510, etc, etc. As there were no further scan of the parcel, although it is showing as collected on our system, I called the shop and found that the item is still with them. Therefore, I have removed the collection input and requested the depot to arrange for a driver to pick, pick spelt wrong, to pick this up today. I apologise for any inconvenience that may have been caused. Ye triple gods. The parcel is still indelible. I call the supermarket and sure enough, it's been sitting there for 14 days. In other words, the original tracking information is a, just a big pile of doo-doo. The collection process starts all over again. Finally, finally, on the 6th of January, I get an email from Japan. The perfume bottles have arrived, the customer is delighted and thankfully understanding. Excellence simply delivered. Right. I've been trying to come up with a pithy acronym for the DHL letters. Best I can do is Dismal Howling Louse Up. Feel free to improve. Cheers.